guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. Today we're going to be talking about some low waste, free and easy swaps. I hope you enjoy them. A quick thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video, but of course more about them at the end. So I've got my cozy jumper on today that I thrifted for two dollars. I've got my cup of tea. I hope you've got one too, so grab it and let's get straight into this video. Before I almost forget, we also have a giveaway which is going to be a Alden Grin Bag. You know guys, I am a Grin Bag ambassador and I, you know, love to share the joy. So in the spirit of free things, Grin Bag are a completely zero waste company using upcycled materials. So as I said, I will be telling you all about the details of the giveaway at the end of this video. So stay tuned and let's get into these swaps. So the first one is to do with your bike. I don't know if you have a bike, but I have a bike and more often than not I get bike grease on my hands which is very tricky to get off. And I'm also an avid coffee drinker. And I do use those coffee grounds for other things like scrubs or using on my plants, but I've also found that it's actually a really great way to get grease off your fingers. So this is definitely a tip for my sister. Uh, and she said that if you just mix a tiny bit of Castile soap or um, some kind of washing up liquid with some spent coffee grounds, that it's acts as the perfect and gentle kind of abrasion, I guess, to get that grease off your hands. So Eve could work possibly as well if you work with cars or stuff like that, but any of that kind of oil or grease that gets on your hands, it's really hard to get off. This is a perfect combination to get rid of it. Number two is to use old plastic bags as produce bags. We always, you know, maybe think that we have to have these cotton bags or whatever to try and create these wonderful bags that we can go shopping with. But if say you actually go to a place that doesn't really allow you to use your own bags, Sometimes it's actually best to get their bags, but then just completely reuse them as many times as you possibly can. Also, plastic bags are incredibly light, and if you have them anyway, you may as well use them. Number three is to reuse the jars that you buy from the store which have stuff in them and use them for everything. You may have heard people using them for storing bulk stuff or using them as a glass or ugh, other things like pickling, but you can use them for almost, like honestly, you can use them for anything. You can use them as paintbrush holders, just pen holders. You can use them to put your paint water in. You can use them to pickle things. You can use them to store your old rags that you use to clean your house. There are so many ways to reuse them and it's free, especially if you are already buying those things from the shop and a great way to reuse them. Of course, you can also store your dried goods if you've gone to a unpackaged shop as well. So it's really, really multi-purpose. Oh, also you can use them as vases as well. But if you have any other suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Number four is to do with plants. If you are a hashtag basic millennial, like most people here in London, me included, of course, then actually buying plants can be really expensive and it can also actually be a little environmentally unfriendly because of the way that they um, actually grow them. But obviously plants are the key to life and they're a really great way of actually helping to combat climate change so which is the slight irony there but what you can do is actually take a cutting from your own plant or your friend's plant and then you can just repot them and they grow so well especially if you choose ones that are already healthy and already doing really well so for example if you want to give a gift to a friend why not think about it a little bit ahead of time and take a cutting from one of your plants replant it and then give it to them as a little little baby plant that they can you know watch grow or you can just take a cutting from a friend's plant and grow it for yourself and add it to your collection it's a really great way of increasing the greenery in your flat but also as a wonderful gift if you are a bit tight on money or if you want to give them a plant or if you just simply love to repot and regrow things Number five. Now, I don't know if this is international, but it definitely happens here. In supermarkets like Sainsbury's, not that I love supermarkets, but if you have to go to a supermarket because they are convenient for most people, then, and you forget your shopping bags, they do actually tend to leave around cardboard boxes that they pack the fruit and vegetables in. So what I tend to do is if I have stuff that's too big for my arms, I will use one of those instead because they can be fully recycled, they're free and they're just left out. And you also means you don't have to buy another reusable bag or use a plastic bag at the till. So that's always a really good tip. I think I definitely know they do it in Sainsbury's. I'm not sure if they do it in other stores, but they might, if you know that they do, 
please leave it down below. But it has saved me on a few occasions where I've forgotten my bags because I am a fool. No, I'm just human. And yeah, it's been a real lifesaver. Number six, use apps like Olio because they are free and the food is free. And it means that you can save waste by trading food with one another. And it's just a really great resource for you to use. It's great because if you have some food, like I still have some maca powder. I know guys, I've been talking about this maca powder for probably over a year now, and it's probably gone bad, but I think I'm gonna finally put it on earlier and see if anyone wants it because otherwise it's just sitting in my cupboard, wasting away. Number seven, this is a bit more active, so it's less easy, I suppose, but why don't you try organizing a clothes swap party with like your friends or even wider your local community or if you're part of a very communal gym like I am with your gym. This is a really great way to refresh your wardrobe without actually buying anything new or having to get rid of your clothes in a way that you're not quite sure whether they'll actually be used so you don't have to recycle them and sometimes when you donate clothes they just get thrown away so this is a really good way of ensuring that if you swap with people, then you get new items, but you also get to give away the items that actually are no longer serving you in a way that is, you know, beneficial to everyone involved. Number eight is to repair your clothes. I have talked about this a lot before, but simply learning how to mend little holes or things like that before they get too big can really help to save your clothes. So repairing them, but also actually treating them really kindly and making sure you're hanging up ones that need to be hung up. Make sure you're washing clothes on 30, making sure that you're not hanging up jumpers, you're laying them down. All of these things keep your clothes in really good condition and it means that they last a hell of a lot longer. So repair them, wash on cold or 30, make sure you're hanging up the right ones, lay down jumpers and try and fold up your clothes as soon as they are dry and ready to go because the more you value your things, the more you're likely to actually reduce your waste in the long run because your clothes will be lasting a lot longer. Number nine, if you were a keen takeaway person like I used to be, why not reuse those old containers? Because a lot of takeaways that we get actually have a lot of plastic in them and they can be really useful. You can use them for meal prepping, which I've done in the past and still do, which is great. Or they can hide, hold dry goods if you don't really, if you can't, like, don't wanna go and buy some mason jars or you don't have any glass jars or anything else to hold them. Or if you don't want them to be close to food, you can always use them to hold like wires and anything that is needs like organizing. I found it super helpful, especially when traveling with stuff that you think might leak. Takeaway containers are perfect to seal them. Yes. Okay, number 10 is a little bit out there, but, and when I say easy, <laughs> it's so easy, it's lazy. And also you might, I'm just gonna say it, trying water only on your hair. I tried this for about four months and it did transform my hair because it made it less used to being shampooed, so it got less oily. I didn't continue with it, but I do wash my hair maximum once a week now. So even if you do water only for a very short period of time, it does get your hair used to being washed less and therefore you use less products and you end up saving money and you also end up wasting less in the long run. But as I said, that one is very, um, it's not for everyone, so it might not be for you, but if you've tried it, please let me know down below what your experience was. Also, uh, Madeline Olivia has done so many no shampoo videos, so you should check them out. <sighs> I'm still figuring out what to do with this, but. And an extra one, a bonus one. I like to either reuse wrapping paper or to use silk scarves, secondhand, of course, vintage. And I like to use them uh, as wrapping paper for any presents that I get people. So by reusing, especially if people give you nice wrapping paper or it's like thick, so you can reuse it, that's a great way of just kind of recycling something uh, continuously. And I mean, I personally love scarves the most because they're really beautiful. And sometimes you can, especially well, this one, I suppose is not necessarily free, but if you do want to give them the scarf as well, then they tend to be like a couple of pounds from vintage shops or secondhand shops or charity shops, etc. And you can wrap up 
your presents in those and then they can use that scarf either they can then use it to wrap up someone else's present or they can use it for whatever and yeah i really love that tip okay so those were the 11 tips i tried to go through them quite speedily because i didn't want you to sit there and be like so i tried to go through them i always forget my tea okay so let's talk about this giveaway it's gonna be this bag not this one specifically this is mine but it's gonna be this bag so you've got two pockets on the side you've got a zip pocket under here and then it just opens like that it's got a laptop case in there or like place to put it etc all you have to do is go on Instagram and you just go to the picture that I've put up that will go live at the same time as this video all you have to do is well all the all the things will be there but you basically just have to like uh, follow me and grin bag and then just comment where you're from or I don't know something like that go and look on the rules they'll be up there but it's gonna be something really super simple really basic nothing tricky and yeah but before I forget, I just want to thank Squarespace again for sponsoring this video. If you don't know, I actually host my low impact movement website on Squarespace. So it's great for creatives or anyone really like artists or restaurants and so many more. It's a really beautiful all in one platform and there's never any hassle and nothing to patch ever. You can really create a beautiful website or an online store with an award winning template and yeah, I'm just really, really pretty chuffed with my website. So head to squarespace.com forward slash sustainably vegan to get a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. Thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and I hope that you found it useful. I will look forward to seeing you over on Instagram for the giveaway and I will see you next Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Bye.